Now with that search for the so-called Dine and Dash dater. He's accused of running up expensive tabs on dates, then disappearing, leaving women with the bill. Diamond Sato has all the details. Okay. Good morning, Diane. For the record, when we say we want a dashing man, this is not what we mean. <laughs> <laughs> but in all, more than 20 women now tell the same story about being left with a betrayal and a bill. And now police say they believe it's the same guy, and there are more victims out there. I'm sorry, did you just say you're seeing other people? Yeah. I mean, isn't that the whole point of online dating? No. It's to find your soulmate! For many people, online dating is what you do to find love. But several women say for one California man, it seemed to be less about filling his heart and more about filling his stomach. He just knew all the right things to say. And that's what, like, really makes me, like, angry inside. Paul Gonzalez is accused by at least six women in the Los Angeles area of inviting them out to dinner after meeting online and ordering an expensive meal. They say after eating, his phone rings, he steps away to take the call and never returns. He ordered a Caesar salad with shrimp, a steak and a baked potato and a glass of Pinot Noir. He had told me that his son uh, may be calling. I said, no, absolutely, I have kids, I understand. The alleged serial Dine and Dasher reportedly has been accused of duping several dates over the last few years. Last November, Gonzalez was even sentenced to 90 days in jail for theft. But just months after being released, Pasadena police say he's back at it, telling ABC News, we are looking at him for other incidents of this nature. We believe there are other victims who are afraid to come forward. And in the most recent incident, Gonzalez reportedly got scared off by a restaurant owner who recognized him, but... He had already eaten. Still, the restaurant did comp that bill, yeah. so at least the woman was not stuck paying for it. And I know who that woman is, and um, she reached out. And, you know, it would be easy to kind of to laugh about this and say, oh, my gosh, what's the big deal here? Um, but when you m learn more about him, and it's just thinking, what else is he capable of? And it's so calculated. Yeah, totally. But he's, he's also accused of doing the same with haircuts. Apparently, goes, gets haircuts, wow. and runs out on those bills as well. So the police are wondering... Kind of the same question, right? Yeah. Well, there's more to this, yeah. right? It's, he met these women online yeah. as well. You know what he looks like. You know his name. So how, he, how does he continue to do this? Well, he does use different names sometimes. And many of these women he apparently met on Bumble, and that was under a different name. But the site actually, when they found out about it, they kicked him off. They banned that profile, and they offered those women to pay for their bills to compensate them oh, for that cost. Wow. And we just put his picture up on well, national television. Do not date that man. Really stay away. Stay oh, away. wow. <laughs> Diane, thank you so Thanks. much. Appreciate that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.